Okay, guys, this is really exciting because it's probably the missing link to the Rashad structure and its connection to Atlantis. What we're seeing here is a canal connection between both sides, but you can see it. But these other canals in here, they're clearly still open and they're clearly ancient connector canals that are, they're not walls, they're canals. Look at that straight line. That's a canal. There's another one right here. There's another one right over here. There's a circular one that's a perfect circle, probably created before this land came through here. You've got flooding that filled this up and breached and came over and slowly crossed over that and covering the canal. What about this? Is that man-made? It's going to here, it's going around and bringing traffic over in front of the Rashad structure eye. Welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe and click the bell and please, please, please share this video with other people because it's the only chance I've got. I'm not advertising. I'm not promoting anything and I'm losing views. So if you care about my channel, please share this with your friends and family. Check this out. So when I got the messages from Christine Chun, she brought up a really good point, which I had kind of noticed once briefly, but I really hadn't paid attention to it. And now she's gotten a lot of great links. She, she did the work for me, so I definitely want to showcase this. She's got some walls that she's located around the corner of the eye. She's found some stuff inside the eye and some stuff up near the Tenemore Crater as well. These same areas have the tumuli that we've been locating as well, except for inside the eye. I haven't found many, but the one thing that really got to me was the fact that you can start to see some really straight lines that are going over 100 kilometers easy. When you see a straight line go 100 kilometers in nature, I mean, it, it variates. How straight is it? Well, let's see what she's found. First thing I'm going to look at, she's got three links here. One is the debris, one is the walls, one is rectangular blocks. Now, I have to be honest, I'm not really too into them. There were a lot of amazing sites found, and she has run across some ancient erosion sites where rocks have been breaking down, and I found them myself on Google Earth. They look like reptilian patterns, to be honest. These rocks look like reptilian patterns on the ground, but I grew up near Joshua Tree, and other places in the desert and I've seen repetitive patterns that in some ways are symmetrical but also in a way that I don't consider was a man-made pattern. What we're seeing with the the rectangular lines that she's showing and by the way her map seems like there's a lot more available and I don't know how to access this Im imger. How is it? Imger? I-M-G-U-R. She's got some collections over at imgur.com. She has a membership O-S-C-I-V-E-R. I'm not sure how to pronounce that but I'm counting so many little points here that I really feel that there must be many more I haven't seen yet. This reptilian pattern is along the mountains on the outside of the Rashad Circle. You don't really find these and they really are bizarre looking. They're really intense. You definitely want to visit that or walk through it. And these rocks are the size of coffins and they're going over 100 meters so it's not like they're just a bunch of a random. Do I believe there's a chance that it was man-made? I think that this is not man-made. I think it's beautiful. I think it's interesting. What we see is the skeleton of rocks. It's a bedrock skeleton. That's not a sandy floodplain. That's aged, weathered bedrock coming up through sand. And you see it all over the place in the Rashad structure. These are some old mountains. Moving on to the debris. Now, she seems to think it looks like some ancient war zone. What I'm seeing is a lot of vectors and water passageway residue. R little riverbeds that gather water over about 100 meters, maybe a little longer. And what it shows is how old that land really is, how ancient the patterns are. It's an argument against the concentric circles theory. It says debris, and I think you can consider this a geological debris field. But in general, I think these are natural patterns that occur in the desert. You're seeing a lot of erosion. I wish I had a way to refer to each one, but I don't. I pride myself in understanding geology a little bit, so I understand what an old mountain looks like compared to a new mountain. 
I understand how fill, grain, pebbles, dirt will move from a mountain into an alluvial floodplain. And I understand how over time it'll fill it up and it'll look like it's a new different uh, floodplain or a different plain itself. But now this last one, this is the one that I really want to talk about. This is the one called ancient wall slash channels and especially the one in the corner of the eye. It's difficult to kind of maneuver from the main map, unfortunately. But when you go down to the pictures, I know where those are located at. We've got uh, over a kilometer long straight lines that have a, a tiny breach. And the funny thing about these lines is that they're they're almost perfectly straight, but then at one point they're not perfectly they're parallel and what it seems to me is you've got a kind of an unevenness because over time this line has changed it looks like it was a man-made line definitely for over a kilometer and the line goes the line that she grabbed actually uh was about one and a half kilometers for sure but she started with one chunk of it but that breach in the middle this one is uh 21 degrees 38 30.48 20 degrees 30 25 62 west so that that's the way we can reference these pictures 21 degrees 38 minutes 30.48 seconds by 10 degrees 35 minutes 28.25.62 seconds west definitely over a kilometer of straight line there and i kind of want to see maybe dig and see if there's any type of a megalithic structure underneath the dirt that that's clearly dirt on top i've zoomed into there it's dirt and the closer you get the more uneven it looks so uh, you do see these breaches where water will have gone from one side to the other and it's hard to see which side it is okay we're getting a little closer it's over one kilometer long this is the one that's 21 degrees 31 minutes 59.84 seconds north by 10 degrees 35 minutes 26.23 seconds west now that is one straight line in nature you're seeing what you you see these angles happen quite a a bit so it's almost like well there's you go it's natural it's happening over and over again but wow what a straight line that is and it's going almost directly north not exactly and it's about two kilometers long this is up in the corner of the eye there's a bunch of things here and there's another one here that's half a kilometer long and it looks like it's some kind of a, a channel maybe an aqueduct or something that was a river for water and it's just barely peeking through the sand covered up definitely covered up I'd like to see this one spot by the way the one I'm looking at is 21 degrees 39 minutes 34.58 seconds north 20 10 degrees 34 minutes 21.79 seconds west and i'm assuming this is michelle's maybe she got it from somebody else so it's somebody else putting this together but you can see some type of an ancient crevice or duct that's cut into the land that's totally parallel Looks like it could be a road. So I'd like to go in there and visit that one and follow it and see how far that road, that little road goes because it's going under the sand. It definitely is amazing. And it's certainly covered up by years and years of sand. Wind. Looks like it's some kind of concrete, but I wonder if we can get closer because this is 200 meters. So I'd like to get closer to that one right away. In fact, let me just uh, zoom that in. Let me just uh, grab that and put that in. I think I can do that. It's pretty easy. We can copy and paste the coordinates. It takes forever. There you go. Look at that. Let's back out and see where that's at. Oh, that's not where I thought. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, it's right near these other straight lines. Okay, when you zoom in there, we're going to get really close now. Wow, look at that. It looks like some kind of a... It's got several small breaches, too. I'm going to have to mark this one. Is that, am I so close? Okay. So, it doesn't really show what's, that, what's there, but it seems like it's going under the sand. Wow. Something's going on up here. So, this is 20 meters wide, and you can see a couple of breaches. It looks like it's it's high, like it was some type of a, a drainage gutter like we have in the USA. It might go along a street or something, and it's 20 meters wide, and wow, it really does just disappear under the sand and we're talking like all different directions kind of seems like it's going south there let me back out again yeah that looks man-made it looks man-made in parallel so that's why i'd like to see more of these markers and uh the showcase for each one of these because i don't have them all and then right next to it of course is this over two kilometers long straight line kind of wondering what's going on there let me go back to her folder going down and then yeah she showcases the circular circular wall and she puts a circle right up to it and shows how almost perfectly circular that is i don't know is that a real circle this one of course is her 21 it's the same place that i was just looking at but it was nearby it's the curve and it's six kilometers long 
It's a six kilometer long curve that follows the diameter of a circle. Yep, and there's the other one that she did that was right next to the first one, and it's over uh, five kilometers long. It's a straight line, five kilometer long straight line in the middle of nowhere. Ancient Atlantis. This is megalithic. I mean, honestly, I think that Michelle here has pointed out the probably the most megalithic structure in the whole area, except for the the circles itself. Okay, so I'm scrolling down, and she's got another five kilometer. It's five kilometers long, and it's a straight line. I mean, it does have a breach of dirt going over it, but what I'm seeing is, is over the years, rain has pushed dirt up against this, what looks like a man-made ridge. If there weren't so many in the area, look at that one. Well, I have to copy and paste that one because I, that one is uh, 20 degrees, 21 minutes, 30 sec, point, 30 point 52 seconds north by 12 degrees. So this is far away, uh, 54 minutes, 6.98 seconds west. Let me copy that and put that into the map. I'll start a new map. It's really exciting to get to these new spots. Okay, I don't know where we ended up, in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to back out first and see where we're at. Okay, i got to back out more to see where we're at. Oh, okay, now I know where we're at. We're at the other corner of the eye. In fact, we can say where the two lines come together. Let's get in there and take a look at this line he's found. So there is a breach. It's a pretty straight line, and it's really, really, uh, it's like this ridge. Actually, looking a little closer, that's kind of the opposite of a ridge, isn't it? That's like a riverway. That's like a canal. Wow. It goes up there, it gets covered and filled with sand up there from ancient flooding and sand filling. But down here, you can see really clearly that that is a nice straight canal leading from the left corner of the Rashad structure eye all the way down towards the Senegal River. Wow, this could be the, the link right here that brings it on to the connection towards the Atlantic Ocean. Of course, I really think there's some other dried up rivers, but these canalways are real evidence that there was a culture that existed here a long time ago that had waterways leading up to the concentric circles. If you don't think that that's man-made, I can understand, but we're talking about three years of change and erosion and flooding. Down here, there wasn't a lot of the, the same flooding that you see up near the eye. It's nice and open. And look at those nice banks, nice and clear. It just goes all the way down. And let's see how far down to the Senegal River complex. No, those are trees, so there's still some moisture under there. It's not purely dry, but that's where the water would go, isn't it? Wow. And it leads down to connecting to some more natural curved river basins, which have been filled with sand. Whoa, this is really exciting. You know, it shows the connection from the concentric circles. And I did have a suspicion that there was a connection to the Senegal River Basin. How far does it go? Okay, that still has a ways to go to Senegal River, but I'm seeing still a lot more straight lines and a lot more activity. What I need to do is, and by the way, there's quite a few tumuli right here as well. I know from uh, looking, it's a beautiful area. Oh, man, Michelle, what are you doing to me? It's a, it's a rock formation. It's a rock formation. It's not sand. So that is a, a, a ridge and a rock, and it's, wow, several kilometers long, and it's such a straight ridge. It makes you wonder. It starts to fall apart. It starts to go under the sand, really. It's just getting covered by sand. I can't really tell what's happening. But, oh, yeah, on the other side of the sand, it starts up again. It seems like it got bumped around a little bit. It's not so straight, but when you get out from under the sand, it straightens back out again, and it's going off, and then it gets covered covered up by a, an ancient... Oh, there it goes. It's still under there. Right about there. I wonder if I keep going, if I can still see it. I see something, but it doesn't look like it's the same thing. Let's go a little farther and see if anything pops up. So that line, it's kind of hard to see from a distance. There's several long lines. There's another one right here that I don't even know if she's got on there. That's definitely a line. It's so long. Hmm. You know, it makes me wonder how deep that other canal is over there in, in the first one that we saw. Let me zoom back in there and try to find this. By Michelle's Curve, there was that one canal and it was like so perfectly parallel I zoomed in there okay so that's that ancient waterway that's up there at the top right eye corner and what you're seeing is ancient straight lines underneath 
patterns of more recent sand that still could be 10,000 years old. I mean, we're talking about the last flood in the Sahara Desert. When was the last flood? When was the last rain in the Sahara Desert? That's what you have to ask yourself. Let's go into the curve. There's a whole complex of straight lines and curves, and this straight line has definitely got multiple breaches of alluvial fans. I shouldn't call them fans, but they're micro rivers, breaches. And what it seems to me is the original line was a meeting point, but then later on, the sand started going over it. And uh, the place I'm going to show that is right here. It's not a, just a single event. You've got multiple water events where water came through in a consistent basis, whether or not it was over a long period of time, little by little, or a short period of time. It's not just one event. You've got these multiple water events creating breaches over lines that are straight going across the desert for five even longer kilometers. Megalithic in the sense that it's larger than man-made. It's very large. The curve here is almost perfect. And then right at one end, there's a straight line that goes on for two kilometers. And at the other side of it, it goes into the sand. Let's see. Let's get a little closer and see. Could it just turn into a road because that's what it looks like, but it just goes under the sand. Remember, there used to be elephants and tigers and trees, and now there's nothing, not even wood. The woods actually disappeared. It's been a long time. And some of these areas look like they're a lot more than 10,000 years old. They look like they're covered by multiple events, multiple water-related earth change events. Okay, let's get this list over. Michelle, you've provided a lot of content here. I really do want to thank you for mentioning it on my site. That looks like an airport. The last one, Channel Wall. Let's uh, see the first one before that. The one before that, uh, maybe I should zoom in there. It looks like it's far away. It looks greener. And it, there's an alluvial fan going right over it. A very sedimentary alluvial fan, not too rocky looking. But since this is from like a kilometer high, we don't know what's going across that. Let me zoom in there. It reminds me of the New Earth Sylvie's video where she shows old waterways up in North America and up in the Canadian area. Okay, so here's like where the straight line is over. It doesn't go past there. Maybe I can see something in there, but I don't think so. There's no more straight lines. And when I say a straight line, I don't mean it's got to be perfect. When we're doing canals and waterways, we certainly don't need perfectly straight lines to have waterways. But when you see a line like this just going directly through, what I see is a connection of waterway systems that are quite ancient and even covered up. This has got to be another waterway here. It looks like it, right? It's going into the river. This is pretty close, but you're seeing a nice crevice that's getting breached by dirt, floods by water events, but consistently being a canal that goes across from one part to the other. How old are these canals? This part is interesting. That's why I say it's not perfectly straight. Does it mean that it's going north? Does the Is the land moving north or is the land moving south or both ways? It seems like that this is somebody who knew technology well enough to go across a long distance. We're, we're talking about a total of how many kilometers here? That's one, two, three, four kilometers. It goes up here. And where could it be meeting? It, it could be going towards some other canal way. It's very clearly a straight line crevice going across a mountain plateau. Why? Why would geology do that naturally? Oh, it's just not close enough, you know? I'm not getting to see what's going on here. You can see a couple roads. This looks like a road breach, not a water breach right there. But I do see kilometers of alluvial movement. This is an alluvial fan slash flood going down here. It looks like it's coming from this direction right here. That's a lot of water right there. It's not like it's a river. It's just it's movement of sediment and dirt that eventually crossed over this man-made canal that existed 10,000, 20,000 years ago. Yeah. You're looking at an ancient civilization of water canals that led somewhere, probably to the ocean eventually, and those are right here, and here's the shut structure. This is all covered by sand. Look for those ancient waterways that are covered by sand right here. There must have been an entry or exit 
if it's true that these concentric circles were once rings of land and water connected by canals, those canals were pretty clear up here. Why wouldn't they connect it? This is a mountain ridge. It's really high. This is high. This is high. This is high. This is high. But on that side, you had low, now filled with sand. Probably some canals that way. Probably canals. This is a, this is a, what we're looking in here. Okay, guys, this is really exciting because it's probably the missing link to the Rashad structure and its connection to Atlantis. I've already gone over the river that went that way and the river that went this way. But what we're seeing here is a canal connection between both sides going down in front. Now this part, we talked about it, it's kind of covered up by masses of sand and sediment going over it. But you can see it. But these other canals in here, they're clearly still open and they're clearly ancient connector canals that are, they're not walls, they're canals. Look at that straight line. That's a canal. There's another one right here. There's another one right over here. There's a circular one that's a perfect circle, probably created before this land came through here. You've got flooding that filled this up and breached and came over and slowly crossed over that and covering the canal. What about this? Is that man-made? It's going to here, it's going around, and bringing traffic over in front of the Rashad structure eye. It's all covered by sand. Take that sand out and let's see what's underneath there. This is bedrock here. This is mountain. That sand's going over a mountain and coming out and falling down here. Why isn't this full of sand? Because it was protected by the mountain here. It's watching you. This eye is like an anime eye. <laughs>